Physics! Yep, that's how they work. All the wheel drives spin. Oh, wait. <laughs> Man, I noticed it very much so that I can't break the drift anymore. I have to play this more like most wanted, really. Oh, the thing is so stiff. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting accustomed to the new racing lines I'm gonna have to take. Generally, you just need to be mindful that, well, you really have to take the lines as necessary. The mod changes, physics, graphics, tuning, everything, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that, that, now it feels good. It's, it's just the stock tires that really had way too little grip. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I actually have to take the racing line now. <laughs> you see? You see how far the car, the car gets pushed out if I want to get the corner fast? Like, I immediately enjoy that I actually have to go for racing lines. I think Brake to Drift, it kind of allowed you to do whatever, because if you were, like, off a little bit, you had a really easy time just correcting. The first time where I really used the grip handling. You know, the original also had some kind of grip handling. Didn't really feel like it, though. This feels way better. Top speed cap is gone, so you can now do more than 400. Ooh, now I'm really interested in, you know, maxing out a car and see what it can do. But yeah, don't worry guys, we're gonna play this mod for quite a while, not just today. You know, that feels so much more natural, the drift that it just did. Like, it didn't feel forced whatsoever. <laughs> I love this game. Oh shit, there's another cop. <laughs> I really miss uh, just losing them from a jump. He's still on me, holy shit that cop. Okay, now he's fucked. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try Simcade handling now and see what the minimalistic hut looks like. So there's your, there's your minimalistic hut. Whoa. Some whoa. <laughs> Oh wow, the car became really slidey all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright, let's buy a new car. Falcon Zenzis. So actually used real car brands, nice. Okay, traction control zero on this car makes sense. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Realistic loss of control. I'm impressed. This puts a smile on my face, man. Because this is not this is not this grippy drift handling that you know from the original game. Like it actually it has that freedom that a car should have when it drifts. It shouldn't be drifting on a rail. It's so much it's so much nicer, man. <laughs> One thing I gotta be honest about, I would love to have the HP bar back for the cops. It feels like the cops have way more health. I have not killed the cop by ramming yet. Like, usually they die because they hit the wall very hard. That's what I noticed. I do like that my car is not taking as much damage from rams, though, because that was really a, a run killer. Ah, shit! <laughs> How is he alive? <laughs> Come on. It, it kind of feels like infinite health cops. I have such a hard time, like, breaking their cars. The thing is, imagine someone takes the ha handling from Forza Horizon and puts it into Need for Speed Heat. That's basically what they did. That doesn't sound half bad. Yeah, because it's great, actually. It's really good. You know, maybe into consideration for the future for everyone to just take more damage. It is. It takes too long, in my opinion, to damage cars. Like, I don't see this changing when you have a faster car either. When you're playing against Heat Level 5, it's probably an absolute nightmare. Because I think that was actually one of the enjoyable parts of Need for Speed Heat, that it could ram the cops until they break. At least in the original game. Wait, wait, wait a second. I think I saw something. Hey! <laughs> but you know, with all the new handling and all the new dials and settings, the NPC events are like all over the place. Sometimes they're really fast and sometimes they're really not that much. <laughs> Man, that, it <laughs> this looks so weird. Why is only the bridge wet? Why is the bridge texture so amazingly wet that everything else isn't? Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> Drift house, ladies and gentlemen. You might need to yank the handbrake very shortly. The new handling really puts some fresh life into this game. Especially if like the handling threw you off from the original Need for Speed Heat. 
you will probably like this one. Yeah, I think I think it's it's getting closest to Horizon 4. Don't get me wrong. Horizon 4 is obviously still better because they actually have a development team behind the, the game, but it's damn good. But one thing the Unite mod definitely shows community modders right now are better developers than the Need for Speed guys. And I tell you why, because they have passion. It's the number one thing I always say that is missing in a lot of racing games, it's the passion. One thing I can definitely tell about the people working on the Unite mod, they have a passion for Need for Speed. So they do a good job. And I don't think that was true for Ghost. That <laughs> looked so stupid. <laughs> Despite providing huge amounts of grip, these of one tires cannot prevent the massive spin. <laughs> if he spots us, this is over. Oops. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the parked cop can see you, but yeah, the, he does. Physics! Yep, that's how they work. All wheel drive spin. Heats on sale right now, is it worth it? Yep. If you want to get it even cheaper, check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. You can support the stream and get the game for cheap at the same time. It <laughs> feels like so much like Forza, man. You can do exactly the same thing. You spin out, you hit the reverse and then you keep going. <laughs> ah, it's so typical of this game's physics, man. You know, that would simply not be possible in the Most Wanted, or Pro Street, because those actually have working physics models that know how gravity actually works. Find the cop, have some fun with them. I mean, this car should actually be fast enough to escape them now, even if they get up to the heat level 5. Day 2 tomorrow is gonna be everything unlocked, high level upgrades. It's gonna be fun. See you at the bottom. Man, the game looks so nice with this update. So much cleaner everything. Now, whenever you do graphical modifications where the game starts to look better, usually the cutscenes, if they're in-game rendered, suffer. And same thing here. <laughs> okay, the stock tuning does not work on this car. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out tonight. That was a lot of fun. So far, so good. Definitely want to play around with tunings and cars and see what we can get out of this. And yeah, with that, I'm gonna start my chill, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, sleep tight, definitely come back tomorrow for more, and good night.